What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to use any font you want in Geometry Dash. As you can see here, I've already implemented my own font. So we can just go to the Feature tab, and as you can see, all the text is different. And I'm going to show you how to do this with any font you want. I'm just going to go to defont.com and pick some kind of sans serif. This one looks pretty clean, so I think I'll download this one. Once you've downloaded the font, make sure to click on it and install it to your device. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description. And you want to download it. I already have it downloaded for me, so I'm just going to click on it. Now go ahead and find the font you want to use that you just downloaded. So for me, it was this one. And what you can do from here is you can edit the color of the fill. So right now it's red. Let's just make it white. You can do some settings with the shadow. I might make it more distant like that. Maybe turn down the opacity to like 50. And you can also change the stroke color and stroke width. I, will, I think I'll just make it like that. You don't have to do exactly what I did for this exact font that I'm using. I'm just showing off what you can do here. As for these settings, these don't really do anything, so I would just ignore them. Sometimes the font may have a different style. So, so this one has an italic and just regular. I think I'll just go with the regular. Size by default is 64. If it's too big or too small, you can try, you can try adjusting this later. Lastly, wherever you want to save this font, go ahead and copy the path to it and paste it here. You might think, oh, but you can just click this button. I've tried and it doesn't really work for me. So once you're satisfied with your font, go ahead and export it. And instead of appearing in the directory that you have here, it will appear in the one before it for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Once you have your font and font file, go ahead and rename this to big font dash UHD. And yes, the F has to be capitalized. Go ahead and do the exact same for the font file. One last really important step is to click on this and you want to open it. Now it's going to be all like, hey, do you want to, you know, this, this menu, right? Uh, just open it with notepad, nothing fancy. And right here, you want to change this to big font dash UHD. This is very important because if you don't change the name of this, it will the game will not load. Go ahead and save. If you don't know how to get to your resources folder, it's pretty simple. Run the game, click play, go to the soundtracks, scroll down until you find it, Theory of Everything 2, click view, click download soundtracks, and now magically you will find that you've arrived here. If you don't have this pinned to the side, make sure to go ahead and pin it. Pin it just by dragging this and pinning to quick access. I already have it there, so once you've done that, go ahead and go ahead and grab your font, copy it, go to your resources folder, paste it. It'll ask you if you want to replace this. Replace it. Make sure to back up the originals before doing this. Once you've done that, there are multiple ways to load them in. If you have Mega Hack, you can simply click the refresh textures. If you do not have Mega Hack, you can just exit out the game and open it again. You can also go to your settings, graphics, switch to medium, and then go back to high. Once you've done that, you should see that the font is now in the game. Now, as you saw in the beginning of this video, I already had my custom font in here, but if you have the default font, it will look like this, where the font is replaced, but this one isn't, which doesn't look very good. So now let's change the gold font. And now what you wanna do is select the fill option, change color to gradient, click on gradient, change the angle to 90, click this color, select this one, click this color, select this one, and OK. And as you can see, it looks just like the gold font. Go ahead and export that. If you're satisfied with the results of the previous font, you can go ahead and close the application. Now we're going to do the same process except for except rename it to gold font dash UHD. Same thing with this one. Gold font dash UHD. Last step, go in here, open with notepad, delete this, 
and change to gold font dash UHD. Control S to save it, copy it, go to your resources and paste it. Let's refresh our textures. I'm gonna use the mega hack button. And as you can see, all the text is now changed. Now, because fonts have different sizes and settings, it's going to alter some of these buttons you see here, as well as in the editor. The only things that will not be changed are these buttons, these buttons, the difficulty text, and others. That's because all of these are actually images, meaning that if you want to replace these fonts, you have to go ahead and just uh, somehow remove this text and then put your desired font into it using a photo editing program like paint.net or Photoshop. That's pretty much gonna be it for the tutorial. You can go ahead and uh, mess around with the settings more, maybe have a bold, bigger outlines, bigger shadows, or maybe smaller shadows, smaller outlines, different colors, whatever you want. If you want to uninstall the font from your computer, press the Windows key, type in font, font settings, search the font you downloaded, and go ahead and uninstall it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.